All right, so I'm gonna pull the catch cam and take it apart and see if I can't tighten up the internals a bit. It's a little bit noisy and it's just an annoyance. I don't think functionally there's anything wrong. Uh, so I'll open and close the door and you can hear it too. I'm going to just disconnect the hoses and I'm going to leave the bracket attached. I'm just going to pull the assembly off the bracket and attach the hoses. I found it was easiest <clears throat> to just use some, some needle nose. Just squeeze, try not to really mar up the plastic. These are four, four millimeter. Let's see. Yes, they are. So I'm going to pull the four millimeter bolts out. We should release the entire can from the bracket assembly. Get this on the bench and pull it apart. See if there's anything I can do. All right, so the rest of these are three millimeter. Certainly clean in there. Wow. I don't even really feel any 
oily residue. It hasn't been in there that long, but still it's been in there for um, at least 3,000 miles. All right, well this is obviously the problem. So these, that's pretty much it. So it's probably a combination of these and the main carrier plate in the machine housing. So we can confirm that. I don't think this side is notched. No, nope. looks like the notch is only only exists in the top portion. There is no ring though. Let's try it the opposite way. Yep. I'm sure it's going to rattle still. Botch that. Start over. I might put a little couple dabs of grease or something on there to hold that o-ring in so I believe no that's not right Okay, so I had to go over to the car just to verify the alignment. Um, so I'm going to put a little mark in an inconspicuous spot. Even if just temporary, so I don't keep forgetting how this thing was lined up. Just some little touch up paint I had. So there's multiple issues. These plates all rattle on the carrier and probably within the, the shell. And the carrier rattles in the shell. Hmm. That went up about like that. I was considering maybe some vinyl electrical tape uh, just fold it over the top here I don't really want to use foam I could I could of course put a little strip of foam in there but I feel like that would deteriorate too easily and possibly break loose <clears throat> but a piece of vinyl tape overlapping this maybe at the bottom 
maybe at the bottom as well, two pieces. And then anything at the bottom underneath all these plates is it's highly unlikely that even if it came loose that it would get drawn up through all the plates sucked into the track. Uh, great, it wasn't dry all the way. So I have some tape, I believe. Yeah, I've got some scotch and vinyl tape. I'm going to just set this off to the side for now. I'm pretty confident that this thing fully compresses it, so I don't need it during testing. So I've got some tape. Just some scotch vinyl tape. It's been sitting for a while. Let me get some uh, exterior off. that if I can get it off my hand. So I'm gonna try oh you know what I forgot to do. Give this a better chance of sticking. I imagine brake cleaner would probably work or something, but this is just maybe nail polish remover, acetone. Just want to clean off any oily residue. chance of sticking. It may not be thick enough. I may have to put some more on there. It looks like it may be coming in contact with this. It looks like the uh, it's been worn off from maybe this plate resonating a bit so it might be worth trying a little piece in there I don't want to put too much on the, above these plates because then it has direct access to if it does come loose it's much more likely to to get sucked into one of those lines versus anything below the plates if, if it does come loose it's gonna have a lot difficult a lot more difficulty reaching the the portholes here. Let's give it a try just to see. If I 
bolt these together. Actually. A little bit with a bang on it, but certainly not completely loose. here might start putting pressure on it. I need to clean that paint mark up. I smeared it with my hand by accident. I bang on the side, I can get a little reaction more, but man, that's a lot better. Alright. So what I was thinking with the plates, Instead of trying to do tape or something in there, I mean, it might be a simple solution, possibly, a run, a run, just a run of tape down, but I don't know. I'm thinking some stainless wire or, or any wire or maybe even zip ties strap these all together just something simple but reliable hmm yeah I'm not sure because if I pull them together it's gonna be kind of awkward Yeah, these metal ones would actually touch. Although I could do it like that. Attach these two together. I'm not sure what effect that would have on its capability to do its job. Versus that, especially when they just kind of flop around anyway. If I use stainless wire, I could go through and loop through each one. But of course, it might be as simple as just a piece of tape, too. I'm not sure. Okay, I had an idea while I was looking around. <clears throat> Thinking simple wedge cut a little piece I'm 
This piece is too big, obviously, but hmm. it's almost too thin. It doesn't quite grab. It's somewhat firm. Definitely. Maybe I bent this one open a little bit, trying to wedge it, wedge that larger piece in there. Let's see if I can't squeeze it back together. Oh yeah, that actually worked. It tightened it up quite a bit. Hmm. I think I'm going to go that route. I'm going to trim these up smaller. And even if they come loose, the chances of them coming up past all these plates. Actually, if I leave them, I don't want to block off all the holes, though. So if I leave them bigger, the chances of them coming out are a little bit slimmer, but... a little bit. Yeah, these are actually, once you get it down all the way in, it actually tightens up quite a bit. It's still not down all the way. Hmm. I think I'm going to recut these. That way when it's fully seated, it'll just barely clear the edge. That way it can't work itself out in that direction. Although, I'm not sure where it's going to go. It's probably fine.
put pressure on them now, they don't tip nearly as much. So now there's the opportunity to also wedge them, which would then provide a mechanism to hold these little plastic tabs tightly too, to keep them from coming out. I think I might do that. I just don't want to risk something coming out <clears throat> somehow making it all the way through this hose and getting sucked in the turbo. Thinking some maybe some zip ties. It's not too tight, <clears throat> just snug. I don't want to really tighten it down. This one I could probably even get it. Well. Nice. And those wedges are held pretty firmly in there too. So it, it does offset it just a little bit, but. Had to give it a little help to get it back in there. So Sure the O-ring stays in place. Almost feels a little bit different now with the added tape. I think that might have been not lined up. Yeah, this has been bugging me for a while, this thing being loose like that. 
especially considering the cost of the unit. There we go. I'm sure it's still. Yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. Let's get this thing back in. Much better. Problem solved.